Welcome back, everyone, to Wake Up West Texas. We are still live out here at the new San Angelo VA Outpatient Clinic. They have a ribbon cutting happening today at 11 a.m., but if you can't make it to that ribbon cutting today, we are about to get a live tour of this beautiful new facility. Ms. Tyndall Light, the nurse manager, is still here with me. We are starting right here in this waiting room because this chair is not your typical waiting room chair. Tyndall, tell us all about this chair. So this is chairs for our veterans that have had hip surgery mm -hmm. or have long legs like you do. Easy out. So makes it much more comfortable for them. And it is so comfortable. I am falling back right now. Now, what's cool is also in the waiting room we have the wonderful reception desk but we also have this veteran service office tell us all about this office so this has been an additional service to have our veteran service officer right here we've also added the DAV has an office right here with us around the corner there we have the lab where we draw labs and then we send that blood work to Big Spring so our veterans don't have to travel to Big Spring for lab work now when people come out here to this veteran service office what types of things can they get when they come see this person Just looking at their benefits so Laura Serrato is right here ready to talk to them, meet with them, and talk about their VA benefits. I love Laura. She's wonderful. Well, let's get up. We are about to get that exclusive tour. She got her card to get us back. What's really cool about this wonderful clinic is that it's a rectangle, but it is full of stuff. Look at that. We got the beef. Come on. Let's go ahead. So tell us about what we're seeing. So we're, on, we're going to go around a rectangle. And on the inside of the rectangle is our primary care. We currently have two providers, and we're beefing that up to four. Wow. Uh, so we're very excited about that. We've integrated um, mental health in with our primary care services. Some of the other things we've done is we've expanded conference rooms. We now have three conference rooms so that we can provide classes for MOVE, for health promotion, disease prevention. I'm going to show you one of our exam rooms. Such a nurse. She's knocking. How polite. Sam rooms, okay, ready to look after our veterans. We've got the tables that are the latest, the greatest, up, down, way you even, okay. Um, of course, we have computerized charting um, so that we've got your med medical records, uh, sit to stand desk, um, so looking after our employees too, so we're pretty excited. And this is the room the veterans will be waiting in. This is the room you come and see your nurse, your primary care provider, so we're pretty excited about that. Amazing. And again, you all had similar things at the old unit, but here it's now bigger and better. Right. Before you had, the veteran would move around. Now we move around the veteran. So we're, they're the center of the care. They're the center of the care. So, so we're coming up on the telehealth area, and this is where we provide services. A veteran can be here and providers can be off station. Other things we do are like the teleretinal, and we've got one of those rooms around there. And we've also expanded... I've got a women's health ex exam room, which is really great uh, for our women veterans. We see a lot of women veterans, what an important service they've provided, and so we're excited to have their special area. Right in here we have teleretinal. Okay. With us we've got uh, Cindy, uh, Christy Hernandez, and she does a teleretinal where she takes a picture of the eye. This is the, what we're trying to prevent. She wants to get a good picture of the eye. And so we prevent these things like glaucoma. This is what glaucoma looks like if you're having vision problems, if you have a cataract. So she can take a picture of the eyeball, get a picture like this, and help us with this diagnosis. She sends those pictures forward for an ophthalmologist. To read. And she wears glasses, so she knows all about what it needs to make sure we can see clearly. Now, coming up next, I love that you all have pretty much an expanded homeless veteran area. Tell us all about that. So um, we made the promise to get the homeless off the street to provide them a safe home. And so um, they're here with us. We've got a room where several of their social workers work with us and they're on down the hall also. And then we've got mental health down this hall. We've added two mental health social workers for our veterans. We also provide telehealth, the high definition TV for mental health, as well as having our psychiatrist here on station. So pretty there, exciting. There is so much to get to here at this beautiful clinic. You have to come on out. They're giving tours today at the ribbon cutting. You're seeing all the information about the ribbon cutting happening today. It starts at 11 a.m. You do not want to miss it. Tyndall Light, you are so knowledgeable. Thank you so much for all you do for the veterans here and what you're going to continue to do here at this wonderful clinic. Hey, don't go anywhere. We have a lot more show ahead. I'm Malik Mingo with Miss Tyndall Light, the nurse manager. We'll be right back after this break. <laughs> 